Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a senior in high school. I've been playing clarinet for eight years. And my favorite part about music is how you can display all sorts of different emotions through your instrument and through different pieces of music. Okay, so here's how you set up the clarinet. First, you start with the mouthpiece, take off the cover and the ligature, and then take the barrel, which is the long straight piece, and attach those together. Then you take this piece, which has the four keys on the side, turn it around to the back, and you take the flat part of the mouthpiece and attach it that way. Then you take the next long piece, turn both on their side, and there's a little key like that that goes right on top of that piece, like that. Then take the bell and attach it like that, and then you're all done. So after you've had your clarinet put together, then it's time to put on the reed. So take your reed out of its little plastic case and put it in your mouth for around like 10 seconds. So after it's been in your mouth for around 10 seconds, then you take it, place it on the mouthpiece with a little sliver of black on the top, hold it with your thumb, and then take your ligature and go right below that little line and then tighten your ligature, but not too tight so you can't take it off later. This is what the clarinet rest position looks like. So you want to have your thumb under the thumb thing and your fingers on the bottom keys. Put it on your right leg and your left hand just rest it on your left leg. So if you find when you're putting your clarinet together that the pieces are kind of hard to put together, you're kind of struggling a little bit, then that's where cork grease comes in handy. They're in little chapstick tubes like this. You can get them from the music store. And so what you want to do is take out the piece, take your cork grease, put a little bit on. I don't know if you can see, I have a little line right there. And then I smooth it in with my finger. So you can see that there's not like extra, it's all absorbed into the cork. And then that makes it easier when it's time to put on the next piece. So after you've taken off your reed, then you want to take off your mouthpiece. Put that away. Then take your swab. If, you're, if your clarinet didn't come with a swab, then you can get one at the music store. Um, take the end with the little weight on it. Put it in the bell and guide it down. It'll come out the bottom. And you want to pull it through sort of slowly so it can absorb everything. And then pull it out the bottom and then fold it up and put it away. So you want to make sure you have your clarinet in a hard case like this because it protects it from any weather it might be in from bringing it into school. Um, and it also protects it if you accidentally drop it or anything happens to it. So most middle school students have a plastic clarinet, but if you eventually get a wooden one, they're a little bit um, more difficult to maintain. You need to um, be more careful when you're cleaning it, make sure you don't scratch it or anything. Um, put some um, oil, it's called bore oil, B-O-R-E, oil um, to make sure it doesn't crack in the winter. Um, so just be mindful of that. You can get um, clarinet cleaning and maintenance kits from the music store or you can um, use things from home or from other items from the music store. So I have a polishing cloth for your keys, um, a toothbrush to get underneath the keys to get out any dust, um, Q-tips to get inside the holes to get out any dust or like cork grease that may get in there. Same with the toothpicks. Um, this is a mouthpiece cleaning brush and notice how the top has bristles so it doesn't scratch the mouthpiece. Um, you clean the mouthpiece using this and warm water with no soap. And another good thing to have is a very small flathead screwdriver to tighten any loose screws that may be under clarinet. A couple things to look out for when you're playing your clarinet is any loose screws. So you'll see that that one's poking out a little bit while that one is flush against the little thing there. So if it's like that, um, either use a little screwdriver or bring it to your band director so they can help you. Another thing is loose pads. So 
um, if it's like coming off or completely gone there or anywhere else where there's pads, um, bring that to your band director to help. Um, and if there's any keys that are clicking like that, you want to bring that to your band director as well so they can help you out. So for the times that you're not playing in band class, you want to make sure that you use your mouthpiece cap to protect against your reed from breaking. So put that on like that. And if you have to get out for any reason to go to the bathroom or anything, break the two halves apart like that and lay them down gently on your chair. You want to make sure that you never leave your clarinet on the floor like that because someone can knock it over very easily and it could break. If you ever eat anything before playing, whether at home or in school, if you're at home, brush your teeth. If you're at school, drink some water, swish it around in your mouth. You don't want any food particles getting in your clarinet. Make sure you never leave your clarinet in the car ever because it's too hot and too cold and it'll get messed up.